Hello. What's up, you guys? Carl just went for a little excursion outside. So we're gonna hang out, chat, life update, like so much to talk about. The number one DM that I have gotten in the past 12 days is, where are you? Are you okay? Are you sick? Is everything all right? Where are you? When are you gonna post again? I'm here, so let's talk about it. So the last time I left you, I was sitting at the kitchen table like sorting all of my seeds and the I, this idea stemmed at christmas from like maybe planting some balsam trees which i get is very outlandish and very crazy but then we went to the grocery store and i found little seed packets of different vegetables and this is how it's going i got this little shelf that i put together so it can go in the corner and here's the thing we have um as you can tell by the lighting a very little amount of sunshine yesterday was actually a really sunny day you having fun so I got these lamps to kind of help me out and I also got self-watering pots. Here is the progress. The cucumbers have sprouted. The trees are up here, they're all labeled. Tomatoes, cucumbers. And I've done so much research as to how to get these to actually grow, but these are sprouting. And I'm so excited. So I have my little watering can and then I have more seeds in here. Oh yeah, I meant to share this with you. Jack-o'-lantern seeds. I'm so excited. So then I have all my little gardening tools in here. Whenever the weather is right and there is less snow outside, cause we're still in a winter wonderland, then we will get to planting all the things. And I would love to make like an actual enclosed garden because we do have a lot of deer. I have been filming as well as feeding the deer. We've named the deer. There is Donna, the mom. She has two babies, Henry. And then the other one needs a name. He's very obedient, the little one. And no, we're not gonna name him Bambi. We're not doing that we all know what happens to Bambi's mom. So no. So that's how the garden's going. It's going really well. So let's set up. And I mean, we have to talk about Valentine's Day. There's so much to share. And then I also want to decorate with you guys a little bit. So the other thing I want to do today, I'm going to put together some furniture and then I will do this. We've been receiving a lot of furniture. I've been, I have been nonstop building furniture, cleaning, organizing, and honestly, just enjoying moving. I think that it's like a choice as to whether a big stressful situation like moving can be stressful or you can choose to enjoy it. So I'm choosing to enjoy it and just kind of soaking all that up. But with building furniture and cleaning and doing all the things, my nails keep popping off. But the last nails, I, I decided to share them because whenever I put them on, I was like, these are a vibe. They were like red for Valentine's day and then had, that's not distracting at all. And then had this like magical, like if your fingers were warm, they would show the the map from Harry Potter and I've been wanting to wear them. So these Glamnetic nails all have like different Harry Potter ones. So these are the golden cups. So I'm gonna do these later today. I had reached out to Glamnetic, especially, I was not expecting for, this is the thing that with TikTok and like reels, you can try so hard to create this like beautifully aesthetic video. And then you can film like an off the whim, just like a, oh my gosh, I have to share this with you guys. And it pops off and then everybody wants to know where you got your nails. I got them at Glamnetic. You can get 30% off. I reached out to them. I asked them if they could create a code for me like months ago because I actually love their freaking nails. And I was like, the amount that I share these, I would love for my people that follow to be able to have a discount. And they gave me a 30% off discount code. And it's just my name, Angie Belmar. So that's where they're from. They have a whole Harry Potter collection. I freaking love it. So these are the ones with the map that I shared on my TikTok and on my reels. And by the way, everything that I post to TikTok, I post as a reel also, or as a short on YouTube, just letting you know. The Luna Love Good ones, I wanna wear these. We booked a Disney cruise. We rebooked a Disney cruise because I think I shared this. We didn't get to go on the Disney cruise <laughs> over New Year's. We weren't feeling well at Christmas time. So not a good idea to go on a cruise. So that's kind of one little update. So I'm gonna do this after I build the furniture. We got a, I decided to buy like this little kind of farmhouse pantry situation. There's a lot of furniture that got delivered yesterday too. Our guest bedroom is almost complete. I'll show you everything. The living room upstairs is almost complete. The living room here is almost complete. So we're, we're slowly but surely moving along and just kind of enjoying it. So Valentine's Day. I feel like we've talked about Valentine's Day, but let me, do you guys wanna see my V-Day gift? You might've seen it in the background. Then this is like one of my like fresh starts for spring. I wanna spend more time like creative, time just alone and just doing stuff that I love and not having that like guilt of like, if it's not productive, which I know might sound weird, but some of you might be like, yeah, no, I feel that. So if you do, thank you. So this was very amazing and a beautiful surprise. I've always wanted like a real easel. 
and Audrey put it together for me and everything and made like a little setup out here. So I have like my little cart that I'm gonna put some paints in. And then I think two days from today is our anniversary. So we'll make like a special day. That's what we do like on Valentine's Day stuff. We go for brunch and then we go shopping and like just, and then come back home. We'd spend like two hours and then we come home. So I think we're gonna go to Michael's, get some paints and paintbrushes. So that was one gift from Andre. The other gift, was you guys are gonna freak out at this and he said he's gonna put it together for me but not i don't think there's any point doing it in the winter because it'll be cold to set it up and can i just tell you anything that i'm talking about showing you wearing which by the way the new the new pause on this gift the new buff bunny this is like the shacket this is called the boyfriend collection but it's not it's not what you think. It's like, just go watch their campaign. It's the cutest thing ever. It's all about like women empowerment. Look at this freaking romper. Isn't it cute? And you're like, you're like in, you're in, but it's not constricting, which you know me and you don't need a bra cause there's a bra in it. I love it. So it's launching soon. Um, but yeah, anything I wear, talk about, share. I, I do that because I love, and if you're new here, you might, you'll figure this out pretty fast. On this channel, we love the treasures and we also don't gatekeep. There's nothing worse than seeing somebody wear something and you're like, where'd she get that? And she doesn't share it. I'll share all the things with you, including this. So this is not all of it. There's like a piece of glass, like plexi that bends around like this, or this is the top that goes around like this. And basically this whole thing with the base like this, okay, sits in the windowsill. So I would like to put it literally at this window because I would paint, there's the couch here and you basically just lift it up to here and then the, the plexiglass goes all the way around and it's a bird feeder, but like they come into your space. How cool is that? I'm so excited. So I get to have like the cardinals and the painting and it's gonna be incredible. Whenever I went to get my seeds, I also put together some little bird seeds in this. I mean, make, let's call it makeshift, but it's still good. It's still up. I put this up like about 10 days ago. There was bird feet prints in the snow down there. So I know that one came, but I didn't see them. And I just thought this was a cool way to be able to see it from inside. And a lot of people are like, well, a squirrel's gonna climb up there. Like how? I mean, maybe, but how? So I put some bird seeds in there. It's for wild birds. Listen, I'll just be honest. We're trying to attract the Cardinal. The Cardinal needs to come visit me. So we're trying. Um, I don't think there's been any updates for this room other than, have you guys seen like these really cute pillows? So I got these like, they have like some green on them. You guys know I love green. I'm trying to do this thing with like baskets. You'll I'll show you one inside and just filling them with blankets so that people are cozy. Got this matching blanket and then another pillow. I think, I feel like you guys have seen all of this. So, Let's sit. And then you guys saw the rug. The rug is ruggable. I'd love to get more ruggable rugs because they're so good if you have a pet. Okay, so we're talking Valentine's Day gifts. Those are the two things that Andre got me. I got him and I had like unboxed it all. We've been receiving parcels like nonstop. Good news, Amazon can come here, which is awesome. Um, FedEx, we just meet them at the bottom of the hill. The guys that brought the furniture yesterday braved the hill and they came all the way up, which was awesome. The rest of the time we just go get stuff. And yes, we have been cooking. So I'm gonna share all of that. So I got Andre. Candy, he freaked out over, it was like a huge, he loves candy, he's like a sugar monster. Um, monster. I got him a, what do you, I don't even know what to call it, like a turf pad to be able to, oh my gosh, you can tell I don't play golf, to be able to drive the ball, like a, like a little mini driving range is how I'd explain it. And I got him the tees and he said I got the right one, which it was a shot in the dark, I had no idea. And then I got him biodegradable balls and was that, oh, and I got him like this skincare set um, that he loves. It's like, it's, it's like mountain pine scent. It's all natural. It's the same company that I do like their deodorant. We use their toothpaste. We use, I use their hyaluronic acid, like super reasonable. I use their protein powder. It's called just ingredients. Um, I do have a code with them too. Again, I'll link it all down below, but I got him just like a little, like a little Valentine's day kind of basket, I guess you would call it. And we just had a little fire, a martini, some popcorn. And it was just like a really beautiful V-Day. I also, whenever we went out and about the other day, I realized that is so Canadian of me to say that, but we stopped at Walmart and they had Blackstone girls and Andre really wants a Blackstone. No, I did not get Andre a Blackstone for Valentine's Day chill, but I did get him this really cool Yellowstone like grill set and it has like the Yellowstone logo. And I got a couple other cute like Yellowstone pieces for those, just like touches, nothing crazy. But I did want to do, and the reason that I'm doing that is not because I want to live the Yellowstone life, although yes, but the show actually stemmed the idea to move 
to the country and the house and everything. Like it literally stemmed it. So a little nod to like the inspiration is kind of why and just like remembering that like once upon a time I saw season one of Yellowstone. I was like, I wanna live in a house that looks like that. And while this is not the Yellowstone Ranch, it does have the same kind of vibe, which I love. Oh, what we did for Valentine's Day, other than obviously like martini and gifts and all that, we did not go out for dinner. By the way, does anybody else feel this way? Like why? We, for years, so our dating anniversary is actually Valentine's Day. So it's not just V-Day for us, it's like a special day. We've been dating since I'm 15 years old. So like more than 20 years, really long freaking time. And <laughs> we are so over going to rest. What happened here? I'm, my name isn't Snooky. So V-Day, here's my thoughts on Valentine's Day. Restaurants are busy and I'm not trying to sound like a cynic. A cynic, a little cynic, a cynic. We've been dating for so long. That's our dating anniversary. We used to try and go to the restaurants as like youngins in love do. And the restaurants are not only packed, it's a set menu is more expensive. Like just make a beautiful dinner at home and make it special. So I decided to create this like very beautiful steak dinner for Andre. And it was inspired by like a French onion soup, but make it steak. So I sauteed and I just had like the best time. I told him to go upstairs hang out with his buddies. They were all playing video games for like about an hour. That It took me less than an hour to make the entire meal, which for such a beautiful meal, and I, I took my time. I put on my music. I had like this vibey, like French playlist that was so good. So it was sauteed onions in butter with like lots of garlic and herbs and everything. Let that saute, then tenderize out the meat. So I didn't have a tenderizer here. I just used um, one of my heaviest pots. I have like a creuset pot. So I just hammered out the meat got like a really nice piece of steak, but honestly, I didn't even get like the nicest piece of steak. I got like a medium range, like don't get like a stewing steak, but you can get like medium because you're gonna tenderize it and then it's gonna slow cook, slow cook-ish, slow cook to my speed because we don't do slow cooking well. So I laid them all out and then I put like the onions and the garlic and the herbs and everything. And then what the ideal would have been was Gruyere cheese because that's what you put on a French onion soup, but I only had Swiss, totally worked. Sprinkled on some Parmesan, rolled it and I used these toothpicks that I had to like hold it all together and then I put it in the air fryer. It would have been perfect. I bought a cast iron pan yesterday. I bought a Yellowstone cast iron pan. Also, how have I not, this should, the video should have started with this update. I found the dishes. They had them locally in Florida at that house. So I shipped them to our house in Florida, had them shipped here. They're in Montreal. They're really close to, to me and they're coming. So. Hopefully they'll be here tomorrow. I got the Casey collection. Anyway, so I got the, there's also a cast iron pan of Yellowstone because I just want to be able to like sear it. So it would have been better with that. But air fryer, so good. Served it up with like some veggies, a little baked potato. It was super, with some red wine. It was like a very romantical V-Day feast. And then I made us Lucky Charms cupcakes, cookies for dessert and Andre lost his marbles because again, sugar monster. So that was a lovely V-Day. And then I decorated the entire bar cart about, I, I finally finalized it like two days before and I filmed it and everything. And I was like, we can do better. So I, I finished off the bar cart and I was like, it's good, but it looks like it does every year. And then I had this majestic idea of what if I do a garden tea party, but like with champagne, romance, Alice in Wonderland, but like tipsy, cause it's a bar cart. And it was amazing. And here's the cool thing. I'll be able to easily transition it to spring. So let's talk about spring now. I think I've updated you on everything that I wanted to. Yes. Oh, and our anniversary, I mentioned our anniversary. So we're gonna go um, on a little staycation. I think we should be packing for that probably soon-ish and just getting ready. It's not far, it's driving distance. You've, you've come with us before. I think I did a video on the exact same location before and we just love it. And it'll be a nice getaway. So on that note, the reason that we're doing a little staycation is I think that we need just like a breather. We need to take a minute. We've both been working so hard. So the short answer as to where I've been is enjoying the process of moving in. And we've both been working our butts off because there is so much good stuff coming and I can't really share that much, but between getting the house ready, receiving furniture, enjoying the process, but also just freaking working and creating and writing and don't hit your head on the lamp, Angie. It's just been like a lot. So I think as like an in indirect deadline, pre staycation, so like finish said work that I can't talk about and projects, there's like big projects that we're working on right now, but like just clarity. My number one job is not like YouTube or being a quote unquote influencer. It's a business owner. So that's number one um, with our employees and working that through. I'm going to whisper because I think Andre's napping. 
You look guilty. Hi, what are you doing? We're gonna whisper, so it's gonna be like ASMR. You being a good boy. So here's the update. The table is done. My bro made the table and he did a phenomenal job. So I put this here, I'll just leave this here for now. I got this, it's actually a cookbook, but I love the look of it. And then I have this book that was a gift to us from our very dear friends um, when we moved into our Disney house as like a, a little celebration. So it's very special. Both of those are super special. Oh, I got this for Andre for our anniversary, but I couldn't, I couldn't keep it a surprise, so I gave it to him. These are like, th by the way, I don't want it to look like they're like, they're not, I think they were like 50 bucks. They're, they weren't like hundreds or anything, but they're like vintage. Victorian marine binoculars. He said he wanted binoculars and you guys were like, you need binoculars. And I was like, yes, but I didn't want like tactical ones. So I got these and they came in a really pretty case. Super nice. Mountain Living Magazine, the best. I love it. That's what I use for my vision board for like planning out this house. Why are you so cute? So see how we're doing like baskets with the blankets. Do you love your, are you guilty of something? You're giving, you're giving, you're giving guilt. This is the vibe that you're giving the slow blink for me. Okay, yeah. So that's the update in here. You guys have seen the couch and everything. You guys have seen that. This is my little, I don't know if we've acknowledged this, but this is my little nod to a Wilderness Lodge in Disney. They have these. And whenever I saw one, I was like, we need one of those. And also this way, if Carl wants to sit in front of the fire, it's safe. This is the little Yellowstone. I use this all the time when we're building the fire. And then it's super useful for that fireplace outside because you go in from the top. Okay, let's go see the basement. You want to come? He's like, I want to show them too. So I cleaned up a lot in here yesterday. We got our doors back on. I don't think I shared this. So whenever we did the carpet, um, the doors didn't really fit, so we had to just kind of sand them down. So we did that yesterday. And then we filled up. We didn't fill, we're almost there. This is our man fridge, we call it. So it's Audrey's energy drinks, Coca-Cola, bubbly, and beer for like, when his friends come over and they, they watch like, I don't know, like what do guys do, like watch football and stuff? And then this was delivered yesterday. Okay, so here's the only thing though. Um, instead of sending us a left and a right, they sent us two lefts. So here's the problem. You'd be like, oh, right? Like, I'm like, this is not a big deal. It doesn't matter that there's a cup holder in the middle. This is my way of hiding it. Why? Why? So, so that they can like lock together. So we will have to contact the company to get like this one sent. Like, I don't even know, like, what do you do? This is the, the best with furniture company. It was like, oh, just send it back. I'm like, you want me to package this up and bring this to the post office? No. So that's one update, but this is the, you know the viral couch I was telling you about? Let me show you. This is the viral couch. Like, isn't it great? I just love it. It's the greatest thing. Cup holder. Incredible, what else do you need? So this is where I've been working. This has been like my work area um, since the port is like still kind of too cold to do that. TV has been set up. I know this is so random, but I feel like you guys will agree. That speaker underneath should be black. So that one's gonna go upstairs and then we're gonna get the same one in black cause it's just, it's weird, right? Henry has been visiting almost daily. He's been eating my shrubs, but so you can see his footprints, like he comes right up. Love him. Um, I did buy a walking pad that was delivered. I did get the reformer that will be delivered sometime in 2025. Apparently reformers take a really long time and apparently they're really popular. So I'm just gonna be patient. I'm kidding about 2025. No updates with this room other than the fact that, that's our wine cellar, um, other than the fact that we installed a door sweep yesterday under here just to keep the cold air in there and we also ordered wine so that was one of our first projects was to get wine delivered here so that will be delivered soon the reformer is going to go right here that's a hip thrust machine and then we, we want to do four let me know what you think about this four um mirrors that are like arched so two here and then two there arched and then we brought the peloton which i think you saw we have another one of these mats. These are the best, they're called Gorilla Mats. It's gonna be delivered today. So that will be great. Pretty sure you saw this, pretty sure you saw the fireplace. Loving, love, love. So that was the viral couch I kept going on and on and on about, that's the one. And then I cleaned up all of this yesterday. So this had like an accumulation of stuff just from moving in. I put all my cleaning products and just kind of organized it. All the decor has been taken down and that's the other thing, V-Day. 
has been taken down too. One of my goals is to like declutter, not have so much stuff out, not own so much stuff. Listen, I'll never be a minimalist, but I would love to just not have clutter and not have so much things. So I narrowed down my V-Day decor to like barely even two bins, which was lovely. This is the piece of furniture that I have to build, which I'm gonna do in a bit. The bar cart, okay. All right, so I took off the other day all of the Valentine's and stuff, like the tea towels and all the like just, the things that had like hearts and were red and whatever. And I think that this will be the perfect transition. So this is what I mean by like Alice in Wonderland. Like I got these big flowers at Michael's. I had this at the other house, teacups, some little stands, and then anything that was like pink-ish or even like the teacups, the teapot here, this little stand. I think I got this from Home Goods. This little, it almost looks like a bird feeder. This is a candle that I found at Michael's on a tabletop, um, what do you call it, cake stand. This little rose down here. And then, so anything that was V-Day, I took it off and I'll be able, I mean, I could leave it like this for spring, but let's say we wanna do Easter. Well, I have a plan. So I think this is the perfect way to transition from Valentine's Day to spring easily. Oh, one other thing that I wanna get rid of actually, this didn't make the cut. It's very, it's giving V-Day. And also I've had this for years and I've never drank it. Do you think it's still good? Does, does Bailey's go bad? Probably, it's cream, right? Well, now I kind of want to try it. All right, oh, and the other thing. So the big question that I got with those showing those nails, this was also, I never even finished my coffee this morning. So yeah, I get it. Okay, like, yeah, we have quite a few yellow thing, Yellowstone things, but neither here nor there. I got those, that was a big question. Um, I'll link everything again that I'm talking about, all the decor and stuff. So yeah, this is the bar cart. The heat's turning on because it's freezing outside. So I think what I'm gonna do is bring in, I have four Easter bins. I don't think that a lot of the stuff from the other house, I'm noticing this with every season that I'm going through, a lot of the like plasticky cutesy things does not go well with this house. It just doesn't fit. And also it's time for a fresh start. Like I wanna decorate new ways with you guys. So I'm donating a lot of things and then I'm just starting fresh with like lesser but better. So I'm kind of obsessed with this bar cart. And I did a little walkthrough of it on my TikTok. I'll, I think I also shared it on here as a short. Like I said, anything, I'm not leaving. I always get that question whenever I say like, oh, I'm over on TikTok trying to share the joy. People are like, oh my gosh, are you leaving? No, I'm gonna share everywhere. It's not like I'm gonna disappear and go any specific place. I think the goal will be to go get a couple of Easter bins, bring them in and start that process of decorating together. If you guys do wanna see that, like do you guys still like the decorate with me videos? Real question. So speaking of spring, Easter, fresh start, all the things. So these are a couple of things that I'm doing. One, you're not gonna expect it, but I have to show it to you. Game changing, can we just start with this? This is a habit that I'm going to start doing every single day. And I think after, I would say after two days of doing it, I'm hooked. So this is mouth tape. I don't think I'd be able to handle like the ones that go like maybe, but like the ones that go completely. This, what I like about it is it just kind of goes like this and it's clear and it's not tight and it doesn't feel constricting. Here's why I decided to do it. Apparently it makes your deep sleep a thousand times better, which I can confirm because I wear an Uber ring and my deep sleep and my sleep scores have gone up tremendously and I've changed nothing else. So I don't know what else to say. The other thing apparently is it like tightens your jawline, which I'm already noticing a small difference. I mean, I've only been doing it like a solid week. The other thing is it trains your tongue to actually rest in apparently the right spot. So all in all, love, I'm obsessed with it. Andre started using, his is different. He does, it's called hostage tape and it like opens your passages here. So he wants to work at that first because his nose is always blocked. So for him to do mouth tape and then his nose is blocked, it's not gonna work. So he's doing the one that's like for the nose and it's like next level. And yes, we're adorable when we go to bed. Um, the other thing, like I mentioned, is doing more stuff that's like, creative me time, not having like that guilt of like not being productive. So reading, I always get asked what I'm reading. This is my current book, I just started it. It's the second in a sequence of, a sequence, what we call in a series, words are hard, um, the Lucy score. It's called the Knock em Out series. It's really good, honestly, it's giving, Hallmark movie, it will start at just fair warning. I had no idea. It starts as a Hallmark movie and it gets real sassy and real naughty really fast. So you're warned. Um, it's great, but only if that's your thing. So I, I liked it. I thought it was great. So I'm reading the second one and on Audible it's even better. Two other habits, walking every single day, loving my little walkies with Carl and Andre and then cooking at home, which that hasn't been difficult at all. And I actually really like it. Cause again, it like feeds the creativeness in me because we have to use what we 
have. So it makes me just get really creative with cooking and I honestly do really enjoy cooking, so I kind of love it. Um, so yeah, walking, daily movement, walking pad helps with that, but I like to get outside. So the other, like the last thing I know I said two, but on that like creative note of like not feeling guilt, can I give like the biggest, I'm so excited about it, it's so random and I'm not doing it now, but maybe like by the end of the week, I wanna buy a Nintendo and I wanna play vintage N64 games because I figured out how to do it. <laughs> such a nerd. I just think it'd be such a cool thing to be like, you know what? We're not working right now. We're playing video games, but I only want to play the N64 vintage ones. And the way that you do that, if you're interested, because I did some research, you got to get the, the Nintendo Switch and then you get the N64 like games online from them. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I searched it and it was there. So you get like, you got to download them. And it's like a bundle, I think. And I want to do it. There's like 007, Zelda, Mario Kart, and Mario Party. And yes, I get it. If you're a youngin, you're like, there's Mario Party now. It's not the same. It's not the same. Ours was better. The other thing that I want to do is play Roller Coaster Tycoon. How on brand would that be for me to build theme parks? And again, do I get the vintage original or do I get the new one? I'm leaning towards vin vintage original, but Andre says to get the new one because he thinks it's better. Either way, so that one's on the computer. The other one is video game. So I would set that up in the basement and kind of have my little video game mecca for the gals. It's for me, by the way, it's for nobody else. The other thing, you know, the TVs in the corner, I want to get those lights that you can get like LED lights on the back of a TV that I believe click into the HDMI cable of the TV and that's how it works. And it will illuminate whatever colors on the screen. Imagine, imagine how cool that would be. The lights are off, you're playing Zelda, and like the lights are going, or like Mario Kart. So I love how I just said that we've been working a ton and now I'm like, I'm gonna play video games. So I'm just so excited. Like we're just gonna, we're gonna enjoy our creativity and our like zen chill time. So those are my little spring habits. And this is my first piece of spring decor that I brought into the house. And I thought it went, it's giving farmhouse. I believe it was from HomeSense. Oh, there's no tag, but I do love it. All right, so we're gonna build the pantry. I can take you upstairs after I build the pantry. Then I'm gonna do my nails and then I'm gonna start bringing in some of these spring decorations for the bar cart and just lightly transition it. Maybe not Easter yet, maybe that should be its own video, but I feel like this could be good. I'm gonna make some pre-workout because we're hitting, like, like I said, I didn't even have my coffee. So we're gonna do pre-workout and build that pantry. So just to show you what I'm doing, it's going right here. It's where there was a freezer here, we took it out. It's now in the garage holding all of our meat that we ordered. So it's, it, it hopefully fits right here. We hope. Okay, so I'm gonna build that and I'll give you guys a small tour and I'm gonna do my nails after because we're not gonna build furniture with fresh nails. We're not, we're not those people, all right? Let's do it. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. Just wanna say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. building furniture. I mean, I enjoy it once it's done and then I'm like, why why do I do this to myself? So here's what I'm thinking. I have a little area in the closet here on the wall that's kind of just been damaged. So I'm thinking we're going to do more construction work, but this is it's very cute. I'm I'm debating taking this part off. So this is to hold wine glasses that so you'd like slide them in. I just don't I feel like I could use this shelving for better use, but it's very cute. It's like farmhouse, it fit perfectly in here and I can still use this top shelf for stuff. So that was the idea. And full transparency, I this was relatively inexpensive, which is why I had to build the entire thing myself. 
this is all gonna be gone soon, this entire pantry. So the kitchen will probably be our very first project that we will undertake that will be a big project. And the idea is that this whole wall would actually come down and become like a full pantry. So this wall, like this won't be here. And obviously it won't be, it's so yellow right in there. It's cause the, there's like a beige color to the, yeah. It's okay, it's temporary. But here, so this was kind of damaged in the move. So I guess whenever they moved their stuff out or maybe when we moved the fridge slash freezer, I, I honestly have no idea. So we got this as a gift from our friend Morgan. And I was going to put it right here so that we could see it every day. And then the other thing, before you guys say anything, yes, this could be a coffee bar. And yes, this could be like my next bar cart where it gets decorated. Yeah, I know, I know where your head's at and I don't disagree with you. I would like to add, like I'm trying to keep as much order as I can in this pantry, it's just not easy. Just with like all different mismatched, <laughs> mix matched bins and baskets, but we shall do our best. So I think I'm gonna hang this and then try and organize this little, this little thing. There is some doors on the bottom. It's almost like a gray finish. It's pretty cute. And there's more storage down here. I was thinking about putting cleaning products down here. I don't know. I. I don't know. We're going little by little and we're just enjoying the process slowly. So I think I'm going to put this right about here with just a few nails, minimal damage. Here, you can read it, it's very cute. Dreaming with your eyes wide open, million dreams are keeping me awake. We can live in a world that we design. And if it's crazy, live a little crazy. It's all the greatest showman quotes, it's very cute. If you never saw my video, I think it was like a life update that I did this summer. I taught, it's a very emotional video. I've never done such an emotional video in all my life, but I talk about how that soundtrack kind of got me through just some more difficult moments. And it's just, it's very near and dear to my heart. So it's a very sweet gift. How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this, Angie? We just go do, like if you were me, would you just like put two nails on the wall and call it a day or would you actually hang it properly? A leveler, leveler app. We'll see if that works. Okay, I went in completely blind. We'll see. Are you are you messing with me? Did it actually like? Is it straight? I don't think it's straight. Are you a liar? You're lying. You're lying. He's just buttering me up. There's no way. Make a love story that would never end. Never thought I'd feel. So alive, looking in your eyes. I just want to love you till the day I die. Four, four and a half bins that I'm pretty sure I can get down to almost nothing because definitely going to donate the Squishmallows. Do we think that we keep the gnomes? I think that they're pretty cute and I think that they have a country vibe. I think that they could go like right next to the bar cart. So I'm taking out all of the, the things like my, my grass turf that I got to do the bar top. Anything that's like a flower or like a little bit more natural looking. Like the, I got these at Michael's last year. I thought they were really cute. One of my favorite things that I got at Michael's and I did get another one this year was they have like vegetables. I know it's so random, but for spring, they have like carrots and cabbages at Michael's. They still have them. I got a few the other day. So I'm gonna go grab downstairs. So I told you guys I would give you a little tour. Furniture's built, took in the bins. I'm gonna try and transition this into spring as best I can. I'll show you guys upstairs and then I'm gonna do my nails and hopefully we can get this bar cart into spring mode. And I, can I, I the, the feelings that I have right now about watching Peter Rabbit makes me so happy. So here is the progress on the guest bedroom. It's not quite done yet. We still need a mattress. This is an air mattress that's on here and it's a queen mattress that's on a king bed. But I have two temporary little side tables. I'm gonna get like these country ones. You might recognize the lamps from our other house. I decided to bring them here. I thought that they were kind of a vibe for this house. I think they totally work. My view for this room is that I want it to be like very cottagey, almost like our guests would feel like they're at like a little staycation. Well, they would be. And I think doing like a little library type of like a little writing desk or like a little situation in the corner, maybe even a bench could be really cute. I put my, those are technically Christmas decorations, but I thought they were really cute. They're like twinkling lights in the corner. So this is what I have so far. And the bed is very cozy and chic and cute. And I think that this comforter might stay. It was supposed to be seasonal, but I think I like it. And then I have two extra pillows that match it. So we're gonna order the 
mattress probably today and then I'll be able to finalize this room almost and then definitely need to switch out the side tables. Okay, so small other update. Murphy has made it. We made him a little stand. What do we call that, a bust? A plaque to go over the <laughs> this part, the molding because his antlers were so freaking tall and then we hung the mirrors so this whole area looks really freaking good. Okay, I think this is everything for up here. Our bedroom, we just got the call on our bed so that'll be delivered soon. We did get this lamp delivered, which is very pretty also. I need to fix one of the antlers broke off though. So it's definitely a vibe up here. We're expecting a little table sometime soon, probably after we return from Florida, but my dad built us a little, a little club table to have cocktails right here. All right, come on, let's go get our Easter decor in the basement. Ooh, it's sunny today. Okay, so a few items that I got the other day. We went to Michael's. This is from HomeSense. I got a little coffee creamer, and this one's for sugar, because I'm trying to go for that like tea set thing, but I'm also trying to go for like greenery and garden, and I just thought this was really cute. <gasps> this is the theme, this is what I'm gonna do. So I wanna do transition from Valentine's Day, which we've already taken everything off, then go to like spring, garden, Easter. We're gonna do Peter Rabbit's garden. Mr. McGregor's garden. Can you tell I love that freaking movie? As much as I love the first one, I dislike the second one. It's how I feel about Hotel Transylvania 4. As much as I love the first three, that's how much I dislike the fourth. They did it a disservice. I got some, look, I'm going to freak out. Okay, so I got some little carrots. I got a giant carrot. Park Pal, for Easter. Judy Hops, right? I know she's not Easter, but she's still a bunny. Yeah, this is everything I got, because I got the little cabbages. So I got these little sticks little moss bunnies, so everything is garden themed. I have a giant one of these from last year, so I thought some little ones would be cute. But we are gonna go back to Michael's probably, what did I say, like in two days-ish? We don't leave very often, which is kind of nice. It, it makes it more special. So we do like brunch and then we'll do like Michael's, um, I was gonna say Costco, not really, Walmart, that type of stuff. So we'll probably go to Michael's to get my paints for my easel. I have one of these from last year, I love it, bunny bait. Another one of these, so this one has like yellows on it. I got a blue one, and then I got this garland. And then I got this that I might actually use like permanently in the pantry. Oh, yes, in the pantry. Absolutely. If you guys have ideas, if you have ideas for the, if you have ideas for the pantry, tell me. Ideas for that um, coffee bar area. Tell me all your thoughts. Oh, and I spoke to Wayfair. That's a new one is on the way. Okay, but why? But wait, why? Why would you do that? There's got, how do I take that off? Nail polish remover? That's gotta come off somehow. That's kind of cute. I kind of like it like right there. Will it make it hard to walk in though? I feel like, from the beginning of this video, we've already drastically improved this pantry. It's like a temporary, see, I just wanna cover this little scratch right here. So I could just do like one nail right here. And then like, I don't know what could go in there, but like rags maybe? Like just something that we need consistently, like paper towel or what type of hook should I use for this? Just a nail, right? It doesn't matter, the kitchen's getting redone anyways eventually. I'm trying to see if I can get the nail through this. I can't, oh, yes, honey. These look cute for spring. They're the golden cup Harry Potter ones that I showed you. I just hope that they're not too dark. I don't think that they will be. Like a cool, like a brownish color. Yeah, 
yeah, with the, like a little gold detail. So there's everything that you need. There's the little baggie, the glue, the nail file, the little al alcohol pad. And the biggest question I guess, how do I take these off? They sell a remover if you want to use it, but usually you can just soak. So I remove them on a day where I do like a hair mask that will usually take it off. So I'll like let them soak for a long time and they'll come off in about two weeks. But if you want it off earlier, you can buy their nail remover and no, it doesn't damage your nails and they're really good quality. So I'm gonna sit here, maybe make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, listen to my jazz music. This has been a really good update video. I hope that you guys liked it. I feel really good like sharing where we've been and what we've been doing. I love updating you guys on all the new things. There's obviously some things I can't share because some things are secret of like future launches and projects that we're working on. Thank you for always being so amazing. You guys are the best ever and thank you for caring and all of the things and just being so freaking positive. So. Just please know that that doesn't go unnoticed and there is a lot of incredible things in the works right now and I will keep you up to date on it all. The next video will probably be like Easter spring decor. We're gonna go on our anniversary trip, but literally anything you guys wanna see, drop it in the comments down below because it always inspires me to know what you guys wanna see. And we will continue to update you on our new house and all of the furniture deliveries and all of the reno projects and all the big things to come headed into spring, which there's a lot. So I'm super excited. And with that said, I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes.